Hello, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me in another chair yoga video. I'm glad you're here. I'm calling today's practice Balanced Being because basically that's what we all want to be, right? We're looking for that balance between calm and chaos, between ease and effort. And yoga can help us find that. And when we do find that balance, both the body and the mind can relax. In today's practice, we'll use movement and focus as we shift and play with our balance. Please join me on your chair. We'll start on our chair, connecting our feet to the earth, whether through a prop or just directly to the earth. Let's put our feet on the floor. Let the palms rest in the lap. Let the shoulders come down from the ears and just take a moment to check in with how you feel. How does the physical body feel right now? Notice any areas that might need our special attention today. And notice how that nervous system feels too. Are we anxious? Are we calm? Are we somewhere in between? Begin to slow down and even out the breath. And then we'll stack those palms at heart center and take a moment to set an intention for today's practice. It might be the word balance or it might be anything else that's important to you. And then we'll release those hands back down to the left. Let's take a circle with those shoulders and we're going to move to the edge of our chair now. So. I'm going to move my block out of the way. I'm going to connect my feet to the floor firmly. Just kind of notice every place where you're connected to the chair, connected to the floor. So I've got my two feet here. They're pretty much, you know, hip distance apart. I feel both sitting bones on the chair. I'm going to leave my hands on my lap and just very gently sway from one side to the other. And as I sway from one side to the other, my one sitting bone is lifting, and then it comes back, and then the other one's going to lift and come back. We don't normally do this, right? We normally sit down and keep both sitting bones on the, on the chair. So see what it's like as we lift up. Now, we don't want to go far enough to fall off the chair, but maybe, yeah, if we kept going, we could fall off, right? So there's a little space between my sitting bone and the chair when I lean from one side to the other. And notice what that feels like to the nervous system, right? Are you nervous that you're going to fall? Don't fall. Don't go that far. But notice what that's like. And then pause in the center. Know that you're supported by the chair. And we're going to start to make some circles with the body. So hands are on the lap. Notice how you feel the weight shift from one sit bone to the other, perhaps from one foot to the other. And these circles can be as big or as small as you like. Take your time with them. We're not in a hurry. And then come back to center. We'll go the other way. And again, just being aware of that weight shifting, noticing where your center of balance is. Notice when you feel balanced and when you feel out of balance. And then make your way back to stillness in the center. Take a breath. Now we'll come to our cat and cow, inhaling, filling up, lifting the sternum, the chin, the gaze. Think about lifting rather than throwing that head back. As we exhale, we'll bring the belly button back. We'll round the spine, separate the shoulders, drop the chin. Do that again. Take your time. And let's do one more breath like that. And 
then sit up tall. Feel the connection of your feet to the floor, of your sitting bones to the chair. Let's take our arms wide. And we're gonna do a movement similar to cat-cow, but we're gonna add in a little bit of balance to it. So we'll inhale here, and as we exhale, we're gonna round the spine. We'll bring those hands forward, but we're gonna tip the torso back a little bit. So my arms are forward, palms are together, shoulder blades are separated. On my next inhale, I'm gonna open those arms wide, shift the torso forward. Exhale, round, shift back. Inhale, shift forward. We'll do two more breaths like that. Moving slowly. And then float the hands back down to your lap. Release the shoulders if there's any tension resident there right now. Pause and check in with how you feel. Not only physically, but also notice how that nervous system feels right now. And now we're gonna make our way to standing. When we work with balanced postures, you know, balance is different every day. It has to, a lot to do with the weather and barometric pressure, it has to do with what's going on in your own head and your ears, it has to do with your own health. So there's a lot of different things that can affect balance. So if today isn't an ideal balance day for you, don't worry about it. Tomorrow has a great chance of being one. So we're gonna make our way to standing. I'm gonna pick up my block so it's not on the floor. Shift your weight into your feet. Push into the feet and then let's come on up. I'll put my block down so that it's not on the floor. You know, I like a clean, safe work area. And we've got this chair here. We can use it to help support us. I'm not gonna have it in front of me just so the camera has a better view of me. But let's come to our mountain pose. Come to mountain pose. Feet are straight ahead. They're about one my fist distance apart. And let's do that shift side to side again. So I'm gonna to shift to one side, and then when it's too much, I'm just gonna to shift to the other. Don't worry about tying it to breath, but please breathe. And I've just got my arms down by my side, or if I had that chair in front of me, I could hold on to the chair. Just be very aware of where that point is, like, oh no, I don't wanna go farther than this because I will topple. We don't wanna to topple. And then once we've found that, let's pause, come back to center. Pretty easy to find balance there once you've done that side to side. Now we're gonna do the same thing front and back. I'll turn to the side so you can see. We're gonna shift forward a little bit and back a little bit. And that forward a little bit, you might notice that your toes grip. That's so you won't fall, right? Use that chair if you need it. Just that little shift forward and back, finding some balance here. And then let's find balance. Let's come to stillness in the middle. So we've done side to side, front and back. Let's make some circles. And that is really interesting because you start to become aware of that weight shifting from the right toes to the right outside of the foot, right heel, left heel, left outside. It's very interesting to pay attention to. You don't want to go far enough to topple, but you are challenging your balance even though both feet are on the floor. Now we'll go in the other direction just to make sure we're balanced, right? Don't want to just do one direction. And then return to center, return to center and find that place where you are perfectly balanced now, left, right, front and back. Let the shoulders come down. Feel that mountain pose within you. Notice that sense of calm when we're in this space. Okay, now let's take a slightly wider stance, slightly wider. So if these are my hip bones, my feet are just outside that. It's not a super wide stance and I'm gonna soften into my knees. In Qigong, we would call this a horse pose. 
I need a little bit of room for my arms here. This next exercise we call separating the clouds. You know, the whole light and dark, sunshine and darkness, right? So let's let the arms be wide. This will be our inhale. As we exhale, we're going to float those arms down, cross one in front of the other. Notice which one. Knees are soft. As we inhale, we push into the feet, circle those arms up and open, separating the clouds. Exhale, come on back down, soften the knees, different arm in front. Inhale, push into the feet, reach, circle up. Exhale, slow moving circles. From this balanced point, you can lift your gaze when you look up, you can drop your gaze as the arms come down. Let's do two more breaths like this. This is too much fun to, to quit early. And when the arms are open this time, let's stay here. Let's let that light, that warmth from the sun just shine down on us. Take a breath, take two. And then float those arms down by your side. Make any movements that you need to feel good in the body. Okay, moving on to a chair pose now. Again, we can always use that chair in front of us to help support us. And as a matter of fact, let's all do that now. Let's get behind the chair. We'll use our fingertip control and we're going to take it to a chair pose. So chair pose using the chair. Sit back in your chair pose. Now, it's not a deep chair pose. This is a shallow chair pose. And this is where we want to be today, in this shallow chair pose. And then come on back up, similar to what we just did in our clearing the clouds away, separating the clouds. But here we are in our little chair pose. We can keep our hands right here on the chair. Let's take another breath. And then we're going to come back up to standing. Now I'm going to step away from the chair, but please know that you can keep both hands on the chair. So what we're going to do, we're going to sit in our little chair pose. And we're going to slide I'm going to slide my left foot forward right now. It's on the ground. I'm sliding it forward and I'm going to slide it back. So I, you can keep one or both hands on the chair. Slide. I'm sliding left foot forward and then back and then I'm going to switch to the other side. Right foot forward, right foot back. We could also decide to put hands on the hips. Let's do the right foot again just so we're even here. Got to be balanced in our balanced being class and not stand up. Take a breath, notice sensation in the legs, the hips, quadriceps, noticing. Now we're gonna come back to it, we're gonna alternate legs and we're gonna add some stuff on. So come to your chair, hands might be at hips, hands might be on the back of the chair. Let's slide that left foot forward. So my toes are touching the ground the whole time. And then bring it back. And then shift the weight to the other side. So I'm not leaving my chair pose here. I'm staying in chair the whole time. My weight is shifting from one foot to the other and the toes of the other foot still on the ground. Okay, pause here. Make your way to standing. Take a breath and notice. Okay, adding on. In our chair pose. Let's take left foot forward. We might have our hands on the chair, hands on the hips. And now I'm going to take my left foot out to the side. I'm still sliding it on the floor. I'm still in my little chair pose with the other leg. Bring it back to the front. And leg comes back. Other leg. Right foot goes forward. It goes out to the side. I might take my hand with it. I bring the toes back forward, hands to hip or chair. Back into my little chair. I'll do it facing the camera now. Toes slide out. Toes go out to the side, arm extends. I'm still with that standing leg bent. Shift the weight into the right leg, left leg. Now my right leg goes forward. It goes out. It comes back to the front. And I come back. Push into the feet, stand up. Take a breath. Notice how that feels, right? We're moving but we're dealing with balance. We're bringing our focus 
into the practice, right? That's what's helping to keep us upright. We're gonna add on a little bit more. So from our chair, here we are in our chair, hands can be on the back of your chair or on hips. Let's slide the left foot forward. Let's take it out to the side. Maybe the left hand goes out too. Now I'm gonna slide that left foot behind me. The left arm might reach forward. Take it out to the side again. Bring it to the front again. Slide it back in. Interesting. We're gonna do the other side, I'll turn around. So right foot goes forward. It goes out to the side, the arm might follow. The right foot goes back, right arm goes forward. Back out to the side. Leg forward. Come back to chair. Push into the feet, stand up. Take a break with those legs. Hips, thighs are doing a lot of work. We're gonna do another round of that. Again, knowing that we can always use the chair to help support us. More hands at hips, let's come into our chair. However we're doing it, let's come to the chair. I'm gonna start with my left leg again. Take it forward, take it out, circle back, that arm comes forward as I circle back, out to the side, forward, back into my chair pose. We'll do the other side. Take it forward, out to the side, Reach back, arm forward, out to the side, foot is forward, sit in your chair, and then push into your feet and come on back up to standing, release those arms. Let's make a few circles with our hips, just to kind of loosen everything up. We're going to do it again. Now that we know what to expect, we're going to do it. We won't have to worry quite so much about what's coming next. But give your body a little break. Take a breath. Check in with how you feel. Does it cause anxiety when we're balancing on that one leg? Or do we feel confident in it? All of these are good questions and there are no wrong answers. When you're ready, let's try again. Hands to hips or to the back of the chair. Sit in your little mini chair. Mini chair. I'm going to slide my left foot forward. I'm going to circle it out to the left and include that arm perhaps. Take it behind me, reach the arm forward. I can keep this hand on the chair. Out to the side. Bring it forward, foot forward. Bring the leg in. Other side. Slide that foot forward. Perhaps slide to the side. Slide it behind you, arm reaches up. Out to the side. Bring it forward, toes in, you're in your chair pose. Push into the feet and come to standing. And then once you do, again, let's make some circles with those hips just to release any tension that uh, may be hiding there. Hmm? Okay, now check in with how that feels. This next one I'm calling Circus Cannonball. It's always fun, right? Um, and again, this is something that we can, we uh, might want to do with the chair immediately in front of us. I'm not going to do that so that the camera has a good view on me. I'm going to take my feet slightly wider now, slightly wider. So um, I wouldn't call this, you know, a straddle, but my feet are wider than my hips. Now I will shift my weight into my right leg and I'm going to pick up my left and keep those, my hands on the chair. But you see, I'm in a line here. I've got this nice long line happening here. And I'm definitely tipped over, right? Balance is an issue here. And, and good thing I've got this chair here. Now, we can keep both hands on the chair in front of us, or we can release those arms so that they're coming alongside the body, about 40 degrees away. Keep that lifted leg active, the foot is flexed, and think about a line of energy from that lifted heel out through the crown of your head. The cannon was over there. We're shooting us off that way. Stay here for a few breaths. And then we're gonna straighten out the body, bring that leg down. Circle those shoulders, take a breath. We're gonna switch to the other side. So we set up again. I just think it's a little easier to shift the weight 
when the legs are um, a little farther away because we are lifting that leg. So a little farther apart here. I'm keeping my shoulders over my hips and then I do that lean over, lean over, lift up. Like I've been shot out of a circus can and I'm streaking to the sky. My hands can be on the chair or I can keep my hands about 40 degrees from the body, palms facing the body. My foot is flexed and active and there's a line of energy from that flexed heel up through the crown of my head. Every muscle in my body is working right now. My core, my, my neck, everything, everything is working. And then we're going to bring that leg down, straighten out the body. Yeah. Notice how it all feels. Take a breath. Make any movements you need to. We're going to go back to the first side now. Potentially changing some things up. So we're in our stance, our little wide, wider stance, slightly wider stance. We lean over. We come into that cannonball. Arms are active. Now, your hands might be on the chair in front of you. That's fine. Keep them there if you need to today. We don't want anyone falling. You may decide to take that bottom hand and reach that bicep up by the ear. That one is a lot of work in my opinion. You can breathe here. And then bring that bottom hand down, bring the leg back down, come back to center, take a breath. We'll do the other side. Start with that slightly wider stance, lean over, Hands can be on the chair or long alongside the body. We have that option to pick up that bottom arm, bicep by the ear. So now everything's in that long line, right? Let's flex the foot, let's not forget that. Breathe in here, it's, it's, a, it's a balanced posture and it's really, it's putting us right to the edge. Now we'll float the arm down, float the leg down. Pause and take a breath. Notice what's going on with the hips. They're doing some different kind of work now. Okay, doing it again. We shift, we lift. This time, instead of the bottom hand, you can keep that one on the chair. Perhaps we take the top one up. See what that feels like. I think it's slightly easier because you can kind of like rest the arm when it gets up there. Just my opinion. You might feel differently. And we've got this same long line of energy on the side body. Breathe into that side space. Use the chair if you need to. I know I am. And then float that arm down, bring the leg down. Take a circle, take a breath. We do the other side. Find your stance, shift and lift. And this option is that top arm reaching up and over reaching out through the heel, up through the fingertips, keep that shoulder down from your ear, breathing here. And then we'll bring the leg down, bring the arm down, Whew. pause and notice how all of that feels. Not only physical, not only physically, but how does it make you feel? Okay, one last round, and this time we have the option to use both arms. Only if you want to. Both hands can still rest on the chair. We set up, we shift, we find that pose. If you want to keep your toe on the floor, you can also do that. And then we might decide to take both arms. Wow, circus cannonball. Breathing here. Notice the movement in the body. Not just from the breath, but from the rest of the body, adjusting so that you can stay upright. My ankle is doing a lot of work right now. Bring the leg down, bring the arms down. Pause and check in. We have one more side. When you're ready, we find our stance, we shift, we lift. We find that balance. Maybe we're using a chair, a prop, whatever, wall behind us. And then we might decide to take both arms up into our circus cannonball. We'll float the arms down, we'll float the leg down. 
Make a circle or two with those shoulders. Let's take a slightly wider stance and just make a few circles with the hips, giving those hips a break. You can bring your hands to your hips if you like. Pick up the knees a couple of times. That might feel good. And now we're going to make our way back to our chair. So I'm going to turn my chair around just so I can get back to it. And, and let's, let's get into the chair through our chair pose. How about that? I'm going to move this, put it on the floor next to me so that I know it's there. I'm real close to the chair right now, like the back of my um, knees can feel the chair. Stand up tall here. And as we exhale, let's let the hips go back. Let's let the arms come forward. Sit into your little chair pose. Yeah, we've done this multiple times today. Now push into the feet. Come on back up. Ooh, fake it out, huh? Okay, hips go back, arms go forward. See what this feels like. Notice where your weight is in your feet. Can you even it out? Push into the feet. Come on back up. Last time, I promise. Let's let the hips go back, arms come forward, and then Let's bring our hands down to the seat of the chair and gently, carefully lower your bottom to the chair. Once we get there, we're gonna slide back because we've done a lot of good work today. Slide back into the chair, bring your feet to that prop or to the earth if your legs are long enough. Turn the palms up in your lap. And the invitation is to soften or close your eyes. Bring your attention back to your breath. Slow it down, even it out. And let's check in, in again. Notice how your physical body feels right now. Notice how the nervous system feels. Have we been able to make our way any closer to a sense of calm? Finding that balance between chaos and calm. stack those palms at heart center. We'll recall that intention that we set at the very beginning of our class. And then we'll release those hands back down by the side. We're going to move to the edge of the chair one last time, grounding our feet on the earth if they're not already there. Feel that connection. Feel the connection of the sitting bones on the chair. Do a little side to side one more time, just kind of Coming back to that feeling of center when you get there. And then we'll open those arms wide, soft elbows, and bring those palms together right in the middle. Uniting left and right halves. Let the thumbs rest on the sternum right in the middle again, balanced. Tuck your chin and thank yourself for taking time out of your busy day to practice yoga. And thank you so much for allowing me to guide you. It's an honor to be here with you, my friends, and to create these videos for you. Stay well, and I hope to see you again soon.